Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the On Device Research Academy. Today I'm pleased to be joined by Claire Gleason Landry, Head of Investment and Sustainable Media at Goodloop. So what would you say are some of the most key challenges within the sustainable ad market at present? Brands being really worried about being accused of greenwashing is, is a problem. Um, and as I said, if you do it wholeheartedly and you do, you know, you do these things intentionally, it's unlikely that you're going to get called out for greenwashing. But you have to be really clear on the language that you use. And you have, there are, there's loads of guidance from the ASA about how to avoid those accusations. All the resources are there. There's also Ad Green, um, the organisation that really, really help in terms of understanding what's going on on, on shoot. Um, and then there's also uh, Adnet Zero as an organisation that are really, really helping. And the IAB are doing loads as well. So there are loads of working groups. There's lots of resources available to brands in order to, to avoid those accusations. And to agencies as well. Agencies need to lead the charge and have that specialism and guide their clients through that. The other sort of barrier at the moment is this perceived increase in cost. That being sustainable with your advertising is going to cost more. And the truth of the matter is, like, when it comes to sustainable distribution of your campaigns, you actually save money um, by being more conscientious of the kind of ad formats that you produce. You're going to save money on your ad serving, right? You're also going to improve the latency of the load times, right? That's also better for business. You're also going to, if you optimize towards viewability, you're also going to improve things for your business. If you optimize away from ad fraud, guess what? Better for your business, but also no carbon being created. So it's, you know, very much I sort of, I, I guess I envisage carbon accountability as being another hygiene factor in terms of executing a really good quality campaign, not just in the create, from a creative perspective, but also from a delivery perspective. And that's really what I focus on every day. How can carbon become another hygiene factor like view viewability, brand suitability, and ad fraud? What are your expectations for growth within the sustainable ad market over the next 12 months? Yeah, I think if my inbox is anything to go by, it's gonna be pretty extraordinary. Um, apologies to anyone I haven't replied to recently. Um, I think if 2022 was like the year of everyone going, oh, we should probably do something about this, um, especially post-pandemic. I think the pandemic delayed things slightly, um, but that's understandable. We were pivoting to a massive crisis. I think, so if 2022 was the year of us like really creating headlines about the importance of it, 2023 has probably been the year of experimenting, figuring out what works, what works for you as a company. Um, so lots of experimentation has taken place and there's been a lot of evolution in products this year available to consumers. Last year was probably like, you can measure, <laughs> which is great, by all means measure. But when you measure, you set a target, you declare it, then you, you, know, you do the work and then you declare again your results and then you set more targets, that's progress. And so 2022 headline year, 2023 experimenting and 2024 I think it's going to be mainstream because so many people are committing to delivering ad net zero by 2030. So we've only got six years to do it um, and um, the pressure's on. Um, and literally every single advert that's currently being delivered that isn't using sustainability as a key consideration in its delivery or in its production is, um, is contributing to the problem. So, yeah, I think 2024 is going to be really, really interesting. And I think if we were to have do similar research next year, the results would be staggering in that respect. I think it's, um, it's something that matters to individuals who work in businesses as well. This is how you retain and attract talent and young people that rejuvenate your business. Um, this is what you have to report on more and more. Look what's just happened in California. They now need to report on all scope one, scope two and scope three emissions, including that from advertising. Um, more and more is coming. So legislation is coming that's going to hold people to account. And so we better get experimenting, otherwise you're gonna get caught behind. So yeah, busy year, I think, next year. Um, 
but yeah, exciting at the same time. Really, really, um, really, really rejuvenating and like something to be really passionate about. Thank you, Claire. If you'd like any further details on how our digital brand impact solution can help your brand, please don't hesitate to reach out at ondevicevsearch.com.